Hello YouTube! It's me, it's me, it's Michael B. Thank you so much for checking out the video and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite new product lines from Arcade 1UP the last couple of years and that is the XL line. I absolutely love them. You can see them in the background of my videos. They're super popular with the community and everybody would say it's one of the best things Arcade 1UP have done in the last couple of years. But in this video, I'm going to tell you why it's actually one of the worst things they did at the same time. So that's right guys, in today's video we're going to talk about why the Arcade 1UP XL line is the best and worst decision Arcade 1UP has made for their business in the last couple of years. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much everybody for checking out the video. Guys, I always appreciate the support. If this is your first time to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. All that YouTube jazz. One of the most controversial and interesting designs that Arcade one up have come out with in the last couple of years is the XL cabinet. And while trashed a little bit initially due to the poor screen and questionable choice of graphics in the Shack Jam cab, people quickly fell in love with the larger form factor. Originally, I was a little hesitant to pick them up because of those same decisions that I talked about earlier with the screen and with the art on the NBA Jam XL, but when presented with an opportunity to pick these up at a discount, I did and quickly fell in love with them. The line kept improving from there as we got our next XL, or as you would want to call it, a Pro model, and they did fix the screen issue and came out with an absolutely badass cab, which was the Killer Instinct Pro. Although priced a little bit high, it was still a massive improvement to the first two XL cabs. And while people were waiting for continuation this year, seeing what the next XL were, we got one of the most <laughs> unhappy releases for most arcade one up fans is another Pac-Man, but where it was in the XL form factor, despite it being Pac-Man and us seeing so many releases of this game already, we all fell in love with it and it was the best Pac-Man to date. The XL line is absolutely a fan favorite of the community. So with all those positives, you guys are probably saying, Mike, the XL cab line is the best thing they have ever done. These cabs are more representative of what a true arcade cabinet is. They have a bigger screen. They have a better overall form factor. How could they possibly be one of the worst things Arcade 1UP have done? Well... The problem with the XL line is since then, Arcade 1UP have come out with a bunch of new and exciting products that people are very excited for, but every time one of those new products comes out, the question is, will I get this or will I wait for XL? Now, I'm going to be honest, this is not a question everybody asks. XL is not for everybody. I've heard certain people in the community say they're happy with the three-quarter scale line. They like the smaller form factor. They're fine with the 17-inch screen because they only have so much room and they can only pack so many machines in their house. Bigger machines don't make sense for them. But there's a huge component of the community, especially the Reddit community, that wants Arcade 1UP to focus more on the XL line going forward forward so when these releases come out like fast and the furious last year a brand new game or like uh time crisis which we just showed the question then comes up why aren't these excel i mean you can just look at rk one ups 2023 release schedule they came out with a brand new product line the deluxe line which was everything fans from rk one up always wanted riserless uh you know more accurate art down to the bottom these were like more like real arcade machines but yet there was still a large portion of the community that held out and didn't buy them games like fast and the furious time crisis they still sold but cabs like big buck hunter deluxe pac-man deluxe class of 81 deluxe mk deluxe and even street fighter 2 deluxe a lot of people who would normally have upgraded or bought these cabinets and added them to their collection because of the new form factor said uh, I think I'm gonna hold out for XL and if you think this theory is way out there and has no ground I'm gonna go back to Killer Instinct 
Killer Instinct should have been one of our Cade 1-Ups crowning achievements. This was a game nobody thought could get made because of the relationship with Nintendo, with Microsoft, the problems with getting this game emulated. This was a crowning achievement, not just in licensing, but also the cabinet was done really well, uh, you know, as well. I hate saying well twice there. This should have been one of the most successful launches from Arcade 1-Up to date. But it wasn't, and for one critical mistake. And that was the announcement of the Pro Series back at CES, I believe it was 2022? I might be wrong about that. Yes, CES 2022, the announcement of the Pro Series, actually happened before the three-quarter scale cabs even hit the market. The announcement was early January, late January, the Killer Instinct three-quarter scale cabs came out, and it created a huge divide within the community. Do I keep my three-quarter scale Killer Instinct pre-order? Do I go ahead and get this cab when I see it? Or do I just wait for the Pro to come out? And we're facing the exact same situation now with all of our Cave 1 Ops future releases. Stuff comes out like Time Crisis, uh, like Fast and the Furious, even some of the deluxe cabs from last year. And it's always in the back of our minds. That's cool but I would rather have the bigger version. I'm waiting for the XL or the Pro model to come out. Now I have the Pro model, and of course I am extremely happy with it. It's a great looking cabinet. It's got a great height, great form factor, great feel. The screen with the BOE monitor, much improved. Love this cabinet. I wish it wasn't a Pro cabinet and it wasn't a thousand dollars. I could have done without that. If this was a regular XL cab, I would have been very, very, very happy with it. Just the price. That was the problem. But a lot of people saw the price point, uh, saw the early complaints about the joysticks, and ended up not getting this cab. They ended up not getting the Pro or the three-quarter scale cab because of the announcement of the Pro coming out and then the subsequent disappointment about price and uh, quality issues with the controls. They ended up not getting either, and this is all Arcade 1-Up's fault for announcing the Pro Cabinet before the three-quarter scale even made it to retail. And I feel like most of us are dealing with similar issues now, even though nothing's announced, there's always that thought in the back of our minds that an XL is right around the corner. I'll give some personal examples here that I went through over the Christmas holiday season. So the first up was on Amazon here in Canada. I'm going to be very clear with you. One of the cabs that Canada sucks, by the way, we can't get anything here in Canada. One of the cabs that never came here to regular retail in Canada was the Street Fighter 2 Deluxe HS5. Cabinet. Now you're probably saying, Mike, that's the Walmart website. Obviously it came to regular retail. Well, not so fast. It's a third party seller. It's actually coming in by a company called Spreetail. So they're the same seller on Amazon. Just before Christmas or just after Christmas, they put up this cab that's only available here, which is regularly priced 899 Canadian for a deluxe cab. Think about that, how disgusting that is. They put it up on Amazon for $498. When the sale went off Amazon, Walmart still had it listed for $538. And I struggled with this for the better part of two weeks on whether or not I was going to pick it up. I love this cabinet. I love what they did. I should be all in. And as you guys know, I have spending problems when it comes to Air Cave 1 Up. I can't help myself. I've got compulsive buying issues. So it took a Herculean effort for me not to pick this cab up, especially where it was only available through this weird spree tail retailer and at the price it was at. But what the deciding factor was, I would rather wait for an XL cab. And that's not the only time this has happened. One of the other cabs we weren't supposed to get here if it'll ever come up, was the Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe. Originally, when the Deluxe made their way to Canada, the only two that made their way here were Pac-Man Deluxe and Class of 81 Deluxe, and I was really frustrated. I did everything I could, bumping in the bricks here, bumping in Arcade 1-Ups here, reaching out to the uh, actual distributor here in Canada saying, you gotta bring in Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe. And then finally, late, even later than we got the Deluxe cabs, because the Deluxe cabs, even though you guys got them in January in the US, we never got them until September here in Canada. This one never showed up till November. And 
I have been eyeing this thing nonstop since. I have been trying my best not to buy it. And the prevailing theory again is one day they're going to come out with the Mortal Kombat 2 XL. They have to, right? And that's what's stopping me from making the purchase. What gets even more complicated about this is a couple nights ago, the Brick have been doing these crazy, like insane, like 12 hour sales that pop up at like 12 o'clock midnight and then go till like lunchtime the next day. This was actually on sale just like the Street Fighter 2 Deluxe was for $4.99, and I actually failed on this one. I was going to buy it. It's just I didn't realize how short the sale is, so when I went back to make my purchase, it had already gone back up in price to $6.49.99. So that's the only thing that saved me on this, but I would have been quicker making purchase decisions on both these if the XL line never existed. And the other thing that's incredibly frustrating for me, and I know a lot of other Canadians, is right now the XL lines seem to be locked behind a barrier, which is they're only going to be sold at club stores in the U.S., stores like Costco. And the problem with that is when Arcade 1UP releases a release, I keep doing this, releases a product to Costco as a Costco exclusive, it never shows up here in Canada. We all want these XL cabs. We all think they're awesome. But... It doesn't look like they're ever going to make their way to Canada, but yet we keep waiting for them. And I assure you that many people held off from getting a Pac-Man Deluxe cab for that exact reason. We're just here waiting for the XLs to finally show up. And just like with the Mortal Kombat 2 overnight sale, they recently did this with the Pac-Man Deluxe as well this past week. It was up for 12 hours, $4.99.99. Of course, I was lucky enough that Arcade 1UP sent me a review unit of the Pac-Man XL. God bless you, Arcade 1UP. I can't thank you enough for that. That's the only way I could get my hands on it here in Canada. But I'm sure many people had that question. $4.99, I really want to buy this deluxe cab. But man, what if the XL comes here? And we don't know. It's something that's out there. It may never come. Even though it's probably never going to come here to Canada. And we kind of know that. People are still not buying your deluxe cabs because they're waiting for the XL. So anyways, guys, that's my take. I think the Arcade 1UP XL line is awesome. I'm personally in the boat of a lot of other people. This is what I want to buy going forward. I'm waiting patiently for Arcade 1UP to come out with more XL cabs in the future. That's what my money's waiting on. Like I talked about, I am desperate to buy a Street Fighter 2 HS5 and a Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe but I'm desperate to buy them in the XL form factor. So hopefully that is in Arcade 1UP's future plans. And hopefully they figure out some friggin' way to get them here to Canada. So us Canadian Arcade 1UP fans, I'm being selfish here, specifically me, can buy these cabs in the XL form factor. And it's because of that that I think this is also the worst thing they ever did because it always gives us that doubt on whether or not we should pick up a cab in the three-quarter line because eventually they might come out with it in XL. Now, there's some, they're probably never going to come out with in XL. There's some cabs that didn't sell well. I mean, obviously, NFL Blitz, we saw what happened with that. It wasn't their highest seller, so maybe they're never going to do an XL Blitz. But some of these other cabs that are successful, we are waiting. And the thing about those being successful they're more likely to be released, re-released in the deluxe form factor. And there is arcade one-up fans like me, stupid enough to keep replacing my cabs to bring the better version in, but I'm waiting on the XL. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that even though the XL line is really cool, really special, it is possibly hurting arcade one-ups business because it's possibly preventing a large portion of the community from buying some of their deluxe lines. Once again, Thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.